Throughout the Blending with Henry series, I've often recommended that you guys vacuum seal your Vitamix recipes. Now, say for example you make a large pot of soup in your Vitamix and you can't finish it all. Well, go ahead and vacuum seal the remaining, throw it in the freezer, leave it in there for well over a year. Then you can go ahead and take it out and reheat it and then go ahead and enjoy it. It will taste exactly the same as when you first made it. Now, this will hold true for your ice creams as well as your smoothie ingredients such as frozen fruit. Now this will save you guys a lot of money because you're no longer wasting food that would have otherwise gotten a freezer burn. Now, if you guys like these types of videos, tips and tricks for Vitamix stuff, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see me do. I'll try and do it. So, let's go in the kitchen and I'm going to show you guys how to vacuum seal your Vitamix recipes. Before we get started, I would appreciate it if you support Blending with Henry by hitting that like and subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be alerted when new video content arrives. Now for more recipes, visit my website BlendingWithHenry.com. A while back I demonstrated the Vitamix Pro 750 Heritage Collection, celebrating it by creating a butternut squash soup which is my own recipe. And I'm pretty proud of that. No matter how much gets served, there's always leftovers. Now the common thing to do is to pour the rest of it in containers, sit them in the refrigerator, and the leftovers are long forgotten. Watch me vacuum seal the leftovers. So first I'm going to go ahead and remove the soup, it should slide right out from the container. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the soup right inside this bag. And just go ahead and push it into the slot of the vacuum sealer, depending on what vacuum sealer you have. So what it does is it sucks all the air out the bag and creates this nice seal at the top so no air can get back in the bag. Air kills our food you guys. Now this will keep in the freezer up to two years while maintaining the freshness and the flavor. I tell you guys a vacuum sealer and your Vitamix were made for each other. This is a mash that was meant to be. Here's another common occurrence. You make more smoothie than you wanted, and after a glass full, you end up with half of it left over still. And it's not really all that good when you save it for later. Now here's a tip for you guys. You can save it by placing it in a container and freezing it. Now a viewer emailed me about lock and lock containers. Now later I will explain why those are not a good idea, and neither is this. This has always been my top recommendation for leftover smoothies or for when you create your own recipes for sorbets or ice cream. Pour the mixture in the ice cube trays. Now even this can go bad in the freezer after sitting for too long. So let me show you how I vacuum seal this. So I'm using the food saver bag which is freezer safe as well as for use in boiling water. Now I'm going to slip the ice cube tray right in the bag. Now slide it right into the food saver vacuum sealer. You can see it has a thick heat seal. Now the air is completely vacuumed out and the smoothie ice cubes will stay fresh in the freezer for over a year. This is what I do afterwards. Often I've made sorbets from recipe created ice cubes. This is my Henry Pineapple Whip. Now if you're familiar with the Dole Whip, which is essentially a pineapple float, this is my version that is dairy free, healthy, and of course I made it so it's delicious. Now when you go buy bags of frozen fruit, you make a smoothie with some of it, throw it back in the freezer, forget about it, and you end up with this, a freezer burn bag of fruit.
Now, looking at this, some people will say, oh, it's just icy because it's been in the freezer. Nope. Those are ice crystals you guys form from the air pulling the water out of the fruit. Now, this leads to freezer burn. Now, your fruit has lost all the nutrients and it doesn't taste good. I bought this fruit frozen several months ago, immediately vacuum sealed it, and I periodically grab fruit from it for a smoothie and vacuum seal it again. Now notice there are no ice crystals and there's no freezer burn after several months of being in the freezer. Earlier I mentioned lock and lock containers. Now this is not a lock and lock container, but for food longevity they are no better than this. Now I made this tomato basil soup last Christmas. Now, I'm not perfect, you guys, okay, because I forgot to vacuum seal this, okay? <laughs> now, but you can see the frost on top of it. It's crumbled a bit and has lost quite a bit of color. Now, this is because air was trapped in the container, and it wreaked havoc on the soup. Now, you don't want to eat this. Lock and lock containers trap air inside and you end up with the same result. Now, this is the original color of my tomato basil soup. You want to pour it into a container, freeze it until solid, then vacuum seal it. Right after it's frozen solid, place it into a vacuum sealer bag. Then you place it into the Food Saver vacuum sealer. Once again, you can see it has that thick heat seal. Now, I can place this soup in the freezer for up to two years and it will be just as good as when it was first made. Here's a vegetarian chili I made in January for New Year's. Now, it was partially made in the Vitamix. I vacuum sealed the leftovers and notice there's no ice crystals or freezer burn. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I revived this right inside the vacuum sealer bag and serve it for dinner. I'm placing the vacuum sealed chili into a pot of water approaching boiling. Now if you guys are familiar with sous vide cooking, this works the same way in which you can place a vacuum sealed bag in boiling water. Okay, the chili is thawed, reheated and ready to serve. It's crazy to believe this chili is as fresh as it was when I first made it eight months ago. Now this is perfect for a last minute meal for a last minute guest. Especially if the guest isn't worth going through too much trouble for. Okay? <laughs> I mentioned I made this chili partially in the Vitamix and I will show you this recipe in a future video. Alright, so how about fresh fruit such as strawberries? Often I like to eat them whole, drop them into a smoothie or a shake. Now the difference between this and a lock and lock container is you can vacuum the air out of this container protecting fresh or frozen fruits. Most vacuum sealers include this accessory vacuum hose. And you push this button to activate it. Now you vacuum the air from this port on the container. This bubble next to the vacuum port deflates when the air is pulled out. The entire lid is vacuum shut, so it's impossible to remove under vacuum. Now you have to press the button on the port to allow air back in the container. Under vacuum, fresh raw berries will remain perfect in the refrigerator as the day you purchase them for up to 30 days without that awful peach fuss. <laughs> 
Now, ice chunks are another thing you should protect under vacuum as they will evaporate and stick together. Ice can also get freezer burn. Now, you're just going to use the Ziploc food saver bag. And there's a port on the bag to vacuum out the air. Perfectly vacuum sealed, and the food saver bag is strong enough to store sharp edge objects such as ice. Now all you have to do is unzip the bag and the air goes back in and the ice is ready to use. I made the cheese pizza when I demonstrated shredding cheese in the Vitamix food processor attachment. And also in that video I talked about vacuum sealing cheese to keep it fresh. When you buy blocks of cheese, they come vacuum packed. Now I have this block of Parmesan cheese that I use for testing Vitamix recipes. I just cut the bag open, take a piece of the cheese, and vacuum seal it back in the bag. Here I cut the straight edge of the cheese so you can see it's still fresh on the inside after months of use. So I'm putting it back in the food saver bag and simply placing it in the vacuum sealer. Again, it has that thick heat seal. Now vacuum packing the cheese, make sure it does not get those hard dried edges leading you to spending more money on another block of cheese. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna check out the Food Saver Vacuum Sealer, view my links below the video as well as links for a choice of Vitamix machines. Now your purchase supports Blending with Henry. See you soon.